Hey all, it's your host Cryptic and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a pretty exciting video um, and a great update that rolled out or is rolling out throughout the week and that's VRR variable refresh rate for the PlayStation 5. It has rolled out here down under in Australia. Um, it may not have rolled out in your region as of yet but you should have it by the end of the week. That's what Sony has promised. Um, I'm going to step you through how to have your PlayStation 5 VRR ready and if your TV is VRR compatible, how to get all that enabled and working. So there are also some issues I came across that you may also come across. I'm going to discuss those here to troubleshoot them. So without making this intro any longer than it needs to be, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings from settings, go down to system, system software, and then go down to system software, update and settings. Now you want to update system software and update using the internet. Just ensure that you are on the latest version of the PS5 software, right? If you leave your PS5 on hibernate or sleep, it should have updated everything normally, done it all correctly already overnight, and you should have it enabled. If it doesn't show up as an option, guys, to have VRR, turn off the PS5 and turn it back on. So once that update is done, what then you want to do is, you want to get your compatible VRR TV. Here I have the Sony X90J, which got its update for VRR well over a month ago now along with the X90H series and all the um, K series TVs that are rolling out now by Sony that are VRR compatible out of the box. So if you have a TV that has VRR or has recently been patched with it, then you're good. You want to go home and then settings. From settings then, you want to go to channels and inputs. From channels and inputs, you want to go to external inputs. And then you want to go to HDMI signal format. Now, these wordings might be slightly different depending on the brand of TV and the operating system that your TV uses. As you know, Sony TVs use Google OS or Android OS. So these are the, or these, this is the jargon that it uses for us to get to that part in the menu. Now you want to scroll down to which HDMI is HDMI 2.1 enabled and that your PS5 is connected to. My one currently is connected to HDMI 3, which is the eARC. Um, my TV allows HDMI 3 and 4 to be 2.1 enabled and the others are 2.0. So once you select your HDMI, you want to go down to Enhanced Format VRR. Previously, I had it on the Dolby Vision because that's what I was using because um, I was watching Netflix and a whole bunch of other things through the HDMI port and the proprietary um, HDR that the PS5 uses. But here we want Enhanced Format VRR. That's going to enable variable refresh rate on the TV on that HDMI port. Once that's done, exit out of that and let's go back to the PS5's menu. So... Once we get to the PS5 menu, you want to then navigate back to your settings, go down to screen and video. From there, you want to go video output and then to VRR. Now, if your TV supports VRR, it should automatically switch on as long as you enable it without resetting the PS5. But now you're going to see an error happen that you may come across. Your TV doesn't support VRR. You're like, wait a minute, but we just enabled VR. We know the X90J is VR enabled. So the situation that I found of myself, I have a Sony soundbar that supports HDMI 2.1, 4K 60, 4K 120, and Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So it has 2.1 pass through. But the bitrate must be limited on it because it's not passing through the VRR requirement. So when I plug in the PS5 to the soundbar and then the soundbar's HDMI to HDMI 3, it's saying it's not supported. 
So it could be that that soundbar or the AV system you have may have one of the bugged or bandwidth limited 4K HDMI 2.1 chipsets. If that's the case, we're going to unplug the soundbar's HDMI and we're going to unplug the HDMI for the PS5 directly out of the soundbar and we're going to reroute it to HDMI 3 on the back of the TV or whatever HDMI you're using on your TV that enables VRR, 4K, 120, etc. So, I'm going to be plugging that in as you can see right now straight into my eARC HDMI 3. So PS5 is now directly plugged into the TV. Give me a moment here while I struggle to get it in, but I do get it in guys. All right, now that's in, it's asking me to set up. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll worry about it later. And there you go. VRR is now enabled on automatic. So if the game supports VRR, it will automatically have it. You can also see there's a toggle below it called apply to unsupported games. So these are games that haven't yet or may not ever get a patch to support variable refresh rate on the consoles. Similar to how the PS4 Pro came out and you could uh, force the, the use of the additional hardware to uh, bring out better uh, resolution in the game and um, higher frame rates. This is now going to force the ability of VRR on all games. So if you're playing something like Elden Ring, for example, on console, um, and you're getting a bit of a choppy frame rate issue there that then is gonna uh, Hopefully fix that juddering and frame rate dip issue that you're having because anything between 48 frames and 120 That's where VRR kicks in If it goes below 48 Unfortunately, that's not the case. So if you're doing a uh, 30 FPS mode or something like that There might be some struggles there, but surprising VRR is quite adaptable and may even work on those lower fresh rates. But typically it's between 48 frames per second and 120. Same as for 48 hertz and 120 hertz. So you can toggle that on to enable it, and then you can go straight into your games and then play. If you're noticing any visual artifacts that are making the game unplayable or worse because of forcing VRR on a game that may not natively support it, you're then best to untoggle that and have it switched off and only leave it on the games that are supported or just for that game have it switched off when you play it because it might be causing visual or performance bug issues um, but overall this is finally a great update for the ps5 right all this way for vrr xbox had it on launch day playstation didn't we can see why sony did it the way they did they did it because they wanted to get all their tvs ready and have it perfect for ps5 and sell you that perfect tv and the ps5 now, albeit I do have a Sony TV, but that wasn't really the reason. Um, just because I had one before, before I had a PS5 and figured I might as well continue. But hey guys, if the video has been helpful, hit the thumbs up. Comment, share, subscribe. And thank you to all the subscribers that have helped me or helped us go past 300 subs. We're well on our way to hitting 500 subs before the end of the year. I'd like to thank all of you very, very much for that. Any questions, any issues, leave them in the comment section below. You know I will respond and help as best as I can. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.